Hello friends, how are you doing today? Data scientist is the sexiest job of the 21st century. Have you heard this phrase? I am sure you have. However, there is a related job role which according to us will be lot more in demand than data scientists in the coming years. And that is the role of a data engineer. Data engineers are already in high demand and low supply, just how data scientists have been for the last few years. So you might be thinking, what does a data engineer do? And why is it going to be in so much demand in the coming years? And in simple words, data engineers work on designing, building and maintaining the data pipelines and systems that collect, store and process data making sure that this data is organized, accurate, and easily accessible to the people who need it. Now, why are they in demand? In case you're still wondering about this, we live in a world where data is getting created at an exponential rate. Specifically, for businesses, data comes from a very diverse set of sources like mobile apps, social media, IoT devices, website clicks, so on and so forth. And most of this data is usually unstructured. It could be in form of images, audio files, text data, log files. Now consider a scenario where a data scientist wants to use all of this information in their machine learning model. Some of this data would be available in real time. Some of it would be refreshing in a batch mode. And most of this data would not be in sync with each other. This is where data engineers come into action. And majority of businesses today across the world are failing to harness the real power of the data they already own. And that is the precise reason why we are witnessing an unprecedented surge in the demand for data engineers. Even the average salary of a data engineer in the US is very much comparable to that of a data scientist which is approximately $120,000 per annum. And in this video, I'll give you a complete step-by-step -step roadmap to become a data engineer in the year 2023. We are releasing this video now, so you may keep referring to it for the entire year. Let's get started. All right, to become a data engineer, here are the skills you need to master. Programming and databases, Fundamentals of Computing, Cloud Computing, Distributed Framework, Data Warehousing, Handling Streaming Data, NoSQL Database, and Workflow Scheduling. On the soft skills front, you need to have great communication skills, both verbal as well as presentation skills. You need to have structured thinking and analytical skills. You need to be able to do documentation really well. So documentation skills will come in really handy for data engineers. And along with all of these, you need to have project management skills. Do you feel overwhelmed? Don't worry. For you, we have created a 12 month roadmap to acquire all of these skills. And for simplification, we have further divided this roadmap into four quarters. This roadmap is created assuming that you'll study for a minimum of four hours per day across five weekdays. So as long as you are spending 20 hours a week, you'll be good. If you follow this roadmap diligently, you will be able to apply to data engineering internships after the second quarter. You will be able to apply for entry level data engineering roles after the third quarter. And during the fourth quarter, you can start applying for full-fledged jobs in data engineering. So are you excited? Let's look at what each quarter looks like. So in the first quarter, we will focus on programming and fundamentals of computing. So in programming, the very first thing that you need to master is a general purpose programming language. It could be Python, Java, Scala. We recommend Python and within Python, you need to master operators, variables, different data types, conditional statements, looping constructs, data structures, and writing custom functions. Along with this, you also need knowledge of standard libraries in Python, specifically pandas, 
regular expressions and along with all of this you need to have knowledge of relational databases and sql a good understanding of relational databases is critical for any data engineer you need to be able to do basic querying on these databases apply joins practice doing sub queries window functions and normalization of these databases so that was programming now coming to fundamentals of computing within this you need to be really good at shell scripting in linux so setting up different environments working with distributed systems scheduling processes in batches or streaming data structures like arrays strings etc and you need to be comfortable working with different kind of apis get option put option post option and you should also look at doing web scrapping because a lot of times you need to pull data from different sources on the web and beautiful soup or selenium could be the tool which you use here along with all of this you will obviously need git or github for version control now assuming you have done all of these skills this is the time to go and apply those for some projects so the first project which you should do during the first quarter is to bring in data from any api which could be a open api or scrap data from a few websites and this is purely for academic purposes right so you could transform this data using pandas in python and finally store it in a relational databases right so a good example could be pulling out live tweets using twitter api and analyze that using the tools which you have already learned in this quarter the link to the project is there in the description below on the soft skills front build on your communication skills build on your storytelling abilities about the analysis which you are doing and sharing it with different stakeholders you should practice storytelling multiple times so that by end of this quarter you should have a solid foundation of programming to get started and the ability to narrate these data stories so that's quarter 1 for you in nutshell moving on to the next quarter in the second quarter focus on gaining hands on experience on cloud and distributed frameworks by end of this quarter you can start applying for various data engineering internships now within cloud computing you need to understand the overall framework in which cloud computing operates because it gives you an ability to work with unlimited resources without focusing or without getting into the limitations of physical infrastructure there are various models like infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service so study those and choose a cloud provider of your choice it could be azure it could be aws it could be gcp the most popular choice is usually aws but the other two are really good as well now once you have done that it is time to understand distributed frameworks and the data processing framework which is again by far the most popular framework is that of apache spark so big data broadly has two aspects batch data and streaming data and data engineers are expected to build etl pipelines to handle batch data apache spark is used to build such etl pipelines which process this big data the second tool which you will need is apache hadoop which is again a distributed workload onto multiple small scale machines instead of creating a large giant server this provides much higher scalability and better fault tolerance in addition to this learn about map reduce and yarn so that you can take full advantage of hadoop now the second project which we'll do on this road map which falls into this quarter is to pick up any data set from kaggle or data hack process it and analyze it on one of the cloud providers using apache spark so you should be able to take these data sets process them analyze them on a cloud platform by end of this quarter in terms of the soft skills you need to work on structured thinking and analytical skills so structure your thoughts practice guess estimates case studies mind mapping exercises build on a few problems about architecture so what should be the architecture of the databases on any problem you work on 
along with those work on your analytical skills like logical reasoning and data interpretation because these will come in very handy when you go for your interviews by end of this quarter you will have a good understanding of handling batch data in a distributed environment along with basics of cloud computing with this you are ready to go deeper into data engineering stack in the coming quarter so in the third quarter we will focus on data warehousing and handling streaming data by end of this quarter you may also start applying for entry level data engineering roles for data warehousing essentially data warehouses are like central repository or a single version of truth for any organization and you need to understand databases data warehouses data lake data marts and what role do they play in different scenarios you'll also need to understand the difference between oltp and olap and what it means for your infrastructure you should understand different kind of schemas like star schema or snowflake schema and you should pick a tool for data warehouse in which we would recommend to be apache hive once you've done all of this you should now try and understand streaming data how do you handle streaming data because this is the second format of data which you'll need to deal as a data engineer now streaming data is generated in real time right so for example look at tweets so the tweets get generated in real time and very often the requirement is to understand them in real time so that you can extract insights and take action on it the most popular tool which is used to inject data reliably when it is being generated is apache kafka besides that you can also learn about aws kinesis which is also used to handle streaming tools on aws specifically for handling stream data another popular tool is spark streaming now once you have learned this tool it is time for your next project and in this quarter we will work on an extension of the project which we did in the first quarter so now you have to analyze all of these tweets in real time and store them in a database using kafka and apache spark streaming the soft skills which you should focus on in this quarter are documentation skills so whatever project you are doing make sure that its documentation is top notch and it is out there on github so that people can see how you do this documentation along with that start writing blogs make your own youtube videos so that you can start narrating these stories in a very structured manner to a large audience by end of this quarter you should be able to handle batch data as well as streaming data you will have good knowledge of data warehousing and you will also know how to do things in cloud so in short you have knowledge of most of the tools and technologies which you need as a data engineer in the fourth quarter we will focus on testing frameworks no sql databases and workflow orchestration tools during this quarter you can also start applying to full fledged data engineering roles while you are sharpening your x further in terms of the first skill which you need you will need advanced programming skills specifically oops concepts like classes objects inheritance and you would need to understand testing so both unit testing and integration testing so that you can bring that into your code on no sql front you need to first understand the difference between sql and no sql you need to understand scenarios where no sql comes in really handy and the different types of no sql databases like mongodb cassandra edgebase etc you should usually focus on learning one tool and i would recommend to go ahead with mongodb once you have learned one it would be much easier to learn other ones but one tool is what you should focus on from a road map perspective once you have done that the next thing is workflow scheduling right so how do you orchestrate this entire workflow across different tools to get the desired outcome and this is critical to manage complex pipelines successfully handle errors gracefully and that is where a powerful workflow scheduling tool comes into play the tool which we will recommend is apache airflow 
it's getting widely used in the industry and it would be a great time to pick up the skill. Once you have done this, look on to the next project, which I'm calling as capstone project, right? So you can take up any form of data. It could be batch data. It could be streaming data to showcase your skills in this domain or industry. You should manage the ETL pipelines using Apache Airflow. And finally, think of a project which you can put on the cloud so that there is no resource crunch or constraint which you are working with. While you are doing all of this, become better at project management skills. So planning how the entire project would get executed, setting goals, prioritization, time management. So how much time does it take to execute each of these activities and how do you manage them? So this is your complete 12 month plan to become a data engineer in 2023. This roadmap will get your journey started in the data engineering field. However, given that these data engineering tools are constantly evolving, it is important to always stay up to date with the most recent tools and technologies and the trends in data engineering. For more such informative videos and content, subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all our future videos as soon as they go live. We also post various YouTube shorts so that you are covered on your interview questions and their in-depth answers. Hope you are enjoying them too. Thank you for watching. Bye.